Getrex is officially the world's first level 1000 on Valorant and is also the player with the highest number of kills and wins on the whole of Valorant. But who is Getrex? Is it a team of players or simply just one individual with a lot of time on their hands? Well, it turns out it's a single player from Germany who kickstarted his Valorant journey in Episode 1, Act 1, reaching Immortal 3 within 90 hours and soon after that he hit Radiant in Act 2. So despite the increase in hours from 91 hours to 573 hours and an evident value Valorant addiction? What was his secret? Having a sub 10% headshot percentage and a negative win rate? Well, it turns out Getrex was simply a shotgun loving jet main. And if you played back in episode 1, you'd remember how strong the Bucky and Shorty really was. You may be asking how or why I know Getrex was abusing this. Well, being from EU myself, let's just say I've experienced this shotgun dashing jet in the early stages of the game. Playing the old split, you'll see a random updraft, dash, and Bucky one tap from across the map, and you'd instantly tilt and remember the name Getrex. This doesn't take away from his achievements, but it did start to build a reputation for Getrex within the EU servers. However, before we dive into how the highest level player on Valorant may be one of the most hated players to grace the EU servers, today's sponsor might help you learn Valorant the right way. This video is brought to you by Omnicoach. We've all seen the AI photos all over social media, but now it's time for some AI coaching on Valorant. Omnicoach highlights all the headshots, combos, team plays you do throughout the game so you you can watch back any of the key moments and learn how to improve. Here you can see my highlighted moments from when I decided to play Raze on Bind. And if I go into player kills, I can watch back some of the cool moments I got from the game. And here was a little clean 4K ruined by a Rosa. Or if I go into player deaths, I can see how I died and what I should be doing next time I'm in a situation like that. There's also a ton of stats you can use to help know which areas you were lacking. So from that game, I can see I needed to use my utility more wisely. Omnicoach is easy to record with as well. All you have to do is download the desktop app and it'll automatically record your games. And after you record those games, you simply upload them to the site and it's GG easy. But it's not over yet. Omnicoach are giving away free brand new 3080s and all you have to do to enter is register using the link down below and upload free gameplays to Omnicoach for a chance to win. The winners will be announced by Omnicoach in January. So why not try Omnicoach today? It's completely free and maybe you'll learn an extra thing or two to climb the upcoming Valorant app. It's also available for League of Legends and Apex Legends. We all saw the memes which were born showcasing some of the best talent in NA. The people you would dread to queue up with but be happy to be against. Well, Twitter user Jamie decided it would be great to showcase some of EU's best, including Don Ilya, the infamous lurking Rainer, and the one and only Getrex. We did also see one of our favourite casters, Lofar, on there as well. I never really thought too deep about the games with Getrex, but as soon as the name was brought up, I would instantly remember the times I was tilted by his ridiculous playstyle and somehow he was getting away with every round. I can't, dude! And after reading some of the comments on this post, I found it quite hilarious how many people felt the same. So why is he hated, you might ask? Well, we all know the Bucky got nerfed a long time ago, but sadly, Getrex was committed to his cause. The Bucky addiction was already too strong. Despite there being onwards to six Valorant acts and the Bucky being nerfed all the way in Episode 2, the Bucky still remained as one of his top played guns to this day. However, you can see the effect this had on his rank post-nerfs as he began to plateau at Immortal 3 failing to reach Radiant again in the recent acts, and it even dropped all the way to Ascendant when I played with him later on in this video. And for all the acts except for two, Getrex would have a negative win rate leaving you doubt before the game would even start. And honestly, if you're an EU Immortal player, you know that feeling. But after the nerfing of the Bucky, there was a new sign of life for Getrex, the Operator. His stats became quite insane maining this gun, getting a total of 3,281 kills, in comparison to his Guardian only getting 2,000 80 kills, all in the first act of episode 3, meaning that he had successfully converted the Bucky but onto the next extremely tilting gun, the Operator. And in episode 3, act 1, this would be the last time the highest level player on Valorant would reach Radiant. So Getrex was playing and had made two of the weapons we all hate as Valorant players, the Operator and the Bucky. And despite having negative win rates for the majority of the acts, the sheer amount of hours this man grinded meant that he'd always peak somewhere around the top.
top. And with EU Immortals having some of the most inflated egos, the last thing you'd want is the shotgun jet turned neon to be running it down in your games. I do want to stress that his stats and headshot percentages are really good on all weapons, so there's no hate towards Getrex. He just simply tilted a lot of players, including myself, in the already painful experience of EU rank. Just look at the amount of salty EU players who have gone to Getrex's Valorant tracker after their matches. But now it's time to check out the content this man has made with his endless hours on Valorant, because I soon found out he has been making a few videos every now and then. Okay, so this is Getrex's level 1000 player best of montage. So what we're going to expect is going to be Bucky clips, Operator clips. I have no words, but all I do know is I honestly hate this man. So we've got a Sheriff, I guess. You can get the occasional Sheriff. Wait, he uses a 2K from the Sheriff clip. This man has 6,700 hours, by the way. And this is his best of. And he used a 2K with a Sheriff into a slow mode 3K with an operator. Okay. And please don't tell me it's just a clot. As a clot on the Omen TP. Third? Please get the third. Please, this is a best of montage, bro. Come on, flash. No scope. Nice. Look at this amazing slow-mo. <laughs> what? And he's mowing them down. Spray and pray 3k. Not too bad. Come on, get tracks. You've got 6,700 hours. I want to see some juicy. Not just a 2k. A 2k. This man with the most hours is doing this. And he's back on the bookie now. So this is post-nerf bookie. And yeah, he's just a tilting individual. I'm not gonna lie, if you made it this far in the video, let me tell you a little bit of truth behind the script. So, I didn't want to be toxic, but this man is genuinely really toxic in games. And he's ruined a lot of games for a lot of people. I'll show you a DM, but I'm gonna blur the name on the screen now. Yeah, uh, a lot of EE players don't really like this guy. But what's he gonna do? No scope. Okay, get tricks. For a 6,000 hour best of montage, it just looks like any highlight channel. But that nurse goes pretty clean, you know, that was pretty sick. Get the 4K, get the 4K, come on. Get it. Nice, unlucky Brummy. Just got get trexed. And he's gonna use a 1K dash away. Is he gonna get the second? He is. They're on an eco. I've just realized the enemy team are on an eco right now. Okay, that was kind of a nice shot though. And back to the Bucky, the infamous dashing Bucky 2K. Okay, 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 okay. And Brimstone. There's no way. He must be playing at some like DJ hours because that Brim was so unaware. He was just sat in his smoke. And that was a nice 3k to be fair. All headshots, little transfer, 1k operator into a go on, be something nice, gets a 2k. Ferrero, okay, there's Ferrero on the other team. He is also one of EU's greatest, most toxic players as well. Uh, Jamie needs to make a meme for him because that man is honestly ridiculous. And Getrex, what you got? Bucky again. Gets the 2k. Gets the 3k. He has switched to Neon as well in his recent acts. But let's have a look. Okay. No scope. This man has probably played so many hours, he can't be bothered to scope in, but <laughs> at the 3k, that was a nice shot. And that's it. Okay, so for a best of montage with 6,700 hours, he didn't get a single ace. But let's look at his Valorant tracker, okay? So this was yesterday, and look at how many games he has. Look. This is all in one day. It keeps going. I've pressed load more matches, and it literally, it just keeps going. It's never ending. And then look, he does the exact same thing the day after. He just keeps going. Look at how many games this man plays in one day. It's actually insane. Does he ever sleep? And just as I thought the video would end, I ended up queuing with Getrex on my team completely randomly. And here's how it went. Look Anime who it is. Anime protagonist, which one was It's Getrex. Oh, who's Getrex? The fucking oh. bookie guy. Yo, Getrex, I heard about you. Yeah, it's a shotgun only dog. This is everyone off. Yeah, got a lot of hours. <laughs> Not get checks, bro. Not this man. Look at this. He's here. He's ascendant this free now, but he was radiant. Episode two when the bookie was strong. Look how many hours he has as well. All acts. He has 6,700 hours. Nah, nah, nah. This is GG. Hey, how come you're not using a bookie? Just there too. And I'm sorry. 
Oh man. One enemy Last man. Let me take orb, let me take orb, let me take orb. Let me take orb. Uh, Sorry. Two in A, man. One out, stunned. Forty and Brim. Nice. Uh, Brim was main. A main, sir. The right side, right side, right side. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. A is drop. uh, dropped. Side. Body shot, Barry, baby. Who's that? Fifty on it, nice. Safe is okay. Oh, left. Oh. Well, they're coming back. Are they out? What's up? It's two more, two more. What's up? Okay. What's up? What's up? I whiffed, but I recovered. Oh. I whiffed, but I recovered. What's up? Inside. Planted. Wait. Good time? No, 40 on Sage. Uh, two main, three main actually. The all main. Okay, so from here onwards, the game took a turn for the worse and nothing really happened. I've got get tricks on my team, so I really shouldn't be hyped right now. I should be depressed. But we've got B main. Let's push up. Where they are actually. Looking oh no! No! Oh my god, he's using a marshal, bro. He's actually cracked! He's actually cracked! I'm no kid, no uh -oh. Then things took a turn for the worse. The EU toxicity kicked in, and ultimately, we ended up losing the game 13-5. So, the player with the highest level on Valorant could not carry me.